is a man I stood by, even though I knew he wasn't educated to my level. This is a man. I'm not saying he wasn't rich. He was rich, but I never. If you had seen my wedding, you wouldn't believe I was. I got married like someone who has been married ten times, and this is her eleventh wedding. I would, I would, I didn't care about money, but he and the family, excuse me, excuse me to say, made me feel like I was in for his money. Mm. But this is someone that he's a soccer player. When we go outside, I basically do everything for you. I'm your lawyer. I'm your doctor. I'm your wife. I'm your mother, I'm your child, I'm everything. But you treat me like your family is better than me. I don't wish him bad, but as I'm talking to you today, he's paying for it. He's one of the people that Con and the coach have told them to come back. And I'm here as a single mother. And I'm a very, very, very young woman because if I say my age, no one will believe me. I'm very, very young. But the type of responsibility this young guy has placed on my head, I laugh, I laugh and walk around like I'm the happiest woman in this world. But I bleed inside me. I cry inside me. I cry every day. I look at my child and I ask myself, if I had followed my family or listened to my family because they wanted me to marry someone else, but I trusted this person. <laughs> His family is a nobody family. It's a nothing family. My family have high status than them. So that's why they didn't want me to marry him because of how those kind of tribe behave. Mm -mm. So at this point, because of your career, you think you're better? <laughs> and I've been with you from taking care of you even when you have injuries doing all sorts of things but i've never even held your hand to take you to a gucci shop and said buy me this gucci bag i've never done that you never used to give me even money when we're married but i, I said nothing about it because i was compromising my family taught me how my mom taught me how to compromise how to sacrifice as a wife and she said i am the only one that will sacrifice till i die in my marriage so i should put that in my head so now even though what you said has given me hope, but now I still stand by that thing that you shouldn't even marry someone who is lower than you because you suffer. The person will leave you. That the way the person was brought up is how you're going to. That's how he's going to treat you, mommy. You understand what I mean. I so it's difficult for we the young people like me. I don't lie. I can't go and marry somebody who has nothing. Already, I'm coming with the responsibility. <laughs> This is another Habiba Sinari interview where she talks so low of her ex-husband. I think at that time the marriage was on the brinks of collapse or had probably collapsed. So here she was inside Joy FM. I think that was uh, Joy FM studio or Hit FM studio, I think, yes. Where she talks about how her family is better than Waris's family, how she is better educated than Waris, and you know, and you 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 can sense it. I mean, from from the discussion, from how she talks, okay, you can clearly tell that she is that she's a very disrespectful character. There's no two ways about that. Her mannerism, her look, look, just look at her. Just look at her. Right? If you are from the scenario from you, so what? If you are from the scenario from you, so what? Do you know how your grandfather started? Your grandfather came to the northern region as a spiritualist. And he got connected. It was the very tribe today you are insulting. It was the Gombes who connected your grandfather to Nkoma. And he started providing spiritual services to Nkoma. If I had followed my family, and in this same interview, she talks about that tribe, that's how they are, taking a shot at Dagombas. Meanwhile, your son is a Dagomba, whether you like it or not, you can't erase that from here. If you hate Dagombas, you hate your son too. This is scandalous. Look, Alaji Sinari should call her daughter to order. Alaji Sinari, call your daughter to order. You see, we are sparing her because she's mushy, and she's mushy, and that makes her our.